YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Welcome to the Game 2. In the last video, we came back to this game after a really long time. But if you watched that video, you know that things did not quite go as I planned. If you want to watch that one, I'll link it over in the top right. But in this one, we're coming back once again. And we're going to beat, in my opinion, the scariest game to ever be made. Now, it was also one of the first horror games I ever played. So I'm probably biased. But anyway, I love this game. And I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go unfortunate we were totally gonna beat that but that's the thing with this game like that's kind of the part the reason why like less than one percent finishes the game because even if you play perfectly there is still a chance you just lose <laughs> which is so un so demoralizing but hey we're gonna get it we'll be fine Can you explain the game I mean, it's, uh, find eight keys on the deep web. That's it. Or dark web, I guess, in this case. Well, no, this is deep web. No, no, no. Dark... Wait, dark web is when you need a special... No, dark web is when you need something like a dip, Like Tor. So this is technically dark web, but, like, most of the dark web is, uh, kind of tame anyway. Okay, we're gonna go to a fun website to forget about everything that just happened. We're gonna go on vacation real quick. Oh, baby. It's so fucking loud. Let me out of here. I'm just gonna buy 10 different... Um... 10 different backdoors, because we're gonna need all of them. So we really want to get hacked ASAP, and we want to find the wiki, the, the second... Go to the second wiki. Also, we need to change every 10 minutes again now, because we lost all our... Oh, no, 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 not the sound. We lost all our uh, we we website progress. Yeah, I actually have... I think that's the, like, third time in my entire Welcome to the Game career that I've had Noir kill me when I only turned off two lights. I only turned off two lights. That's why you, every time that, like, we get the motion alert, I only turned off two, which we obviously had enough time to turn all the lights off, because the more lights you turn off, the more you risk the Noir glitch happening. It's so fucked forced hack by using the balcony yeah yeah i think that's that's bro that doesn't work i'm pretty sure that only worked for like one patch one single patch is evil's the worst site is evil has the worst sound out of all of them for sure <laughs> this fucking face every time gets me every time and then we're gonna go yes save ourselves some time Door skip. I missed door skip. Okay, we don't have to worry about Lucas for a little while, which is nice. The main thing we're gonna have to worry about is breather for now. Hey, you kind of get a like a two for one special. This is shush 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 shush. Go back here. Also, I should favorite the the home page. I'm gonna open this window because I'm losing my head. It's way too hot. How hot is it? Why is summer so annoying? It's 32, 32 degrees. Jesus Christ. Goodness. Um, Oncrave is really annoying. We just don't, don't care about the wikis. Don't care about the coats. Just go. If we get lucky with the... Um, with the... The hack amounts, we could get... Like, the police scanner and stuff as well. Like... It's super fun to get multiple items. Just all of them are... Almost all of them are completely useless. So I never really get them. 32 isn't that bad. World's most insane person just dropped. Welcome. If 32 isn't that bad... I'm really curious. Where do you live? In what, what universe is 32 not bad? Is it like Australia? It must be Australia, right? But how are you up at this hour? You should be sleeping. If you're up at this hour, that means you're, like, more degenerate than I am. Because that means you're, like, up at, like, 5 a.m. or something. What are you doing? Maybe that, maybe that explains why 32 isn't a big deal for you. Because you're, you're, you're made of sweat. You're made of gamer sweat. Uh, where do we even go at this point? 
32 is freezing. Maybe... Maybe it's just uh, Fahrenheit confusions. People are like, 32? That's freezing! <laughs> but that, that shouldn't happen because I literally said that it was hot and not cold. Okay, we should swap Wi-Fi's here soon. It doesn't matter how many codes you find, right? Um, let's swap Wi-Fi. I didn't even pick up the phone and stuff. Or the, the flashlight and stuff. Yeah, I think... I think with the, like, no socks plus fan plus water spray strat... I think 20... 20... 28 is like the cap at which I can be comfortable. Anything higher gets annoying as hell. The water spray is so goaded. Dude, if you don't have... If you are having trouble with heat, you gotta get a water spray. It's actually... It's a life hack that I wish I knew last year. Because last year I was miserable in the summer. It's so good. I mean, it just completely depends on where you are. Because if you if you are one of those people that likes to pretend, like, are this are the people that say thirty two isn't a big deal the same people that like walk around? Those better be the same people that walk around like with shorts and shirts in the winter. Like, you better just be completely broken. Like, don't don't go being a little baby bitch with a whole with a coat and like. Uh, gloves and stuff. If you're gonna, if you're gonna pretend like 32 isn't a big deal, well, get to, get, go, get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. Go to minus 10 and walk around with the same clothes. And I don't want to hear any complaining because minus 10 is not that big of a deal. Obviously. I, I don't think it's... When is the last time it's been minus 10 in the Netherlands? I think it's been a really long time. Why does shit... Why does... Everything is... Why is everything so fucked now? I hate it. It's so damn hot. Everywhere. Not even in the winter. Fucking... But wasn't there recently, like, a really cool bill in the United States that was passed that had, like, 500 different, uh... Like... Anti-global warming... Uh, things or something? It was pretty cool. Oh wait, did I even... I didn't even get my... Thing, did I? I didn't even get my VPN! Uh... I'm just gonna leave it on this page. We are at twin... When did I swap? I swapped at like 12. I need to get this, uh... This VPN. And get it down. So we can... Start making some money. I forgot that we have to do this. It's so crazy. I watched a video, a Veritasium video. Seems like Veritasium is really obsessed with Australia, which I don't mind. Um, and he made a video on funnel web spiders, and they're the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Their venom kills someone in like 80 minutes or something. Which is just insane. And the... The way, like, during mating se season, they get out of their webs to then walk around to find mates. But if they stay out during the night, or during, like, in the morning, and it starts becoming day, they don't want to be out in the light, so they hide inside of people's shoes. <laughs> Which is fucking terrifying. So that's why most people in the in Australia get bitten by those spiders because they don't check their shoes before putting them on. How does anyone live in Australia? Like I It must be like some like Stockholm syndrome. Like I genuinely would be like I saw a comment on that video though which made me laugh. 
the 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 best cure for an irrational fear of spiders is moving to australia because then it's not irrational anymore <laughs> damn what a life hack <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't recommend like there was there was this like trend there was this time I don't know if it's the same in other places but there was this time in the in the Netherlands where everyone like would know like five people that would like move to Australia like I knew several people that that I knew in high school or in uh, elementary school that left elementary school because they moved to Australia why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> Are you insane? That is crazy. Funnel web venom can also Yeah, I mean that's funnel webs venom can be used for anti venom as well, obviously. That's the way it works. Um but anyway, what are we doing? We're we supposed to swap Wi-Fi. I think we swapped to this one. Did I lock the door and stuff? I didn't even place this thing. Let's place this thing first. Oh, I did lock the door. Crazy. What info do we have on Welcome to the Game 3? Nothing besides that it's going to be called John's Chapter, I think. Oh, dude, let's go. Ichi, thank you for the 8. Okay, now that we have... We need to get a good one. Like, I'm going to have to reset until I get a decent one. Because I don't want to have to wait forever. This is just going to speed up things so much. Like, I wouldn't even want to visit Australia. Like, it's the only place on Earth that I actually, like... Like, if you get, would give me, like, an all-expenses-paid vacation to Australia, I wouldn't go. I would be like, well, have fun. I'm not going. <laughs> like, it's a place I'd rather just not go anywhere. But <laughs> anywhere else but Australia. The only place. Yeah, I mean, what other places are there? I mean, I guess in the middle of a volcano or some bullshit, but that doesn't really count. Same, but I hate Ikea. What does that even mean? What does I Ikea have to do with this conversation? I do not understand. Death Valley? I've been to Death Valley, isn't what it's a cool place. It's very hot, but like you know, 32 is not that bad, so don't cry about it. What does he have against IKEA exactly? What do you have against IKEA? Oh, there we go. Went to Death Valley and it started raining? What the fuck? Just don't wear shoes in Australia. Problem solved. Damn, you're a genius. I'm super heat sensitive. I pass out. I mean, you mostly just stay in an air conditioned car to get out for five minutes to take some photos and then get back in. That's like the whole US experience. It's just sit in a car, get out the car, take a few photos and get back in. Okay, this one is fine this one is fine i'm not gonna go all the way back that's what i did when i went to the u.s i mean it's called a road trip for a reason uh do we we did disconnect and we go to the this one again because i think we are fine did i lock i did lock it where in the u.s i went to the uh west U.S. is a long highway. Kind of. I saw someone... I know recently we had that... talk. When we were playing Fierce to Fathom, we were talking about... um... terrains in the United States. And there was someone... that told... that said like... Uh, they just like explain so in in the united states they apparently mostly use trains for cargo for like exporting or for like transporting goods around the country and not people but then someone said you wouldn't want to take a train 
because going to the tr you would have to take your car to the train and then from the and then when you <laughs> like get to your destination you have to rent a car to go around and i'm like well you're blaming the solution you're blaming the solution on the pro problem you're blaming the solution for the problem like <laughs> the, that's not the train's fault that's the car's fault <laughs> why why would you want because they said that like taking a car is way cheaper because you don't have to rent a car and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> what's going on here <laughs> it doesn't make any sense oh baby circle square Circle, square, circle, square, circle, square, circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. He's done it. That was messy. I don't know if I fucked that up. But yeah, I, it was just like, I was just trying to understand the message because like trains are super cheap. Usually like that's the whole point of public transport is that it's cheaper than owning a car. That's why it's the preferred method in most places to get short distances. Because did you know, fun fact, 45% of all the trips in the United States are by car are less than three miles. So if you just had like some bike lanes, 45% of all car traffic could be eliminated and you could just take a bike instead. That's crazy. Uh, where do we go? Evil collection. <clears throat> Someone watched not just bikes. Exactly. Oh, there we go. Dude, not just... You think I'm sometimes, like, bantering with the US? You should watch not just bikes. That guy goes fucking hard, man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a little baby compared to that guy. He, he like, he goes crazy. <laughs> your town literally has bike lanes everywhere that's good let's go bikes bike prices or bike stocks skyrocket when do we have to swap again i have not been paying attention i'm tr i'm trusting you does anyone know i connected at 10 30 i guess that sounds very comforting <laughs> Is the window open yet? No. Okay, should I order another? I don't think I'm ordering another VPN. I think we should just... I think we should... Get a fortune cookie. I think we should get a fortune cookie. We're so fucking slow. Loading of the pages. Do 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 Dr. Fraud, thank you for the 18. And TK, thank you for the 10. All right, black waves. Okay, the windows. I'm so nervous about the police. I think we're going to get killed. Like, I'm doing this website and then I'm moving it again. And then we're going to be murdered by the police. I still can't believe the noir got me, man. <laughs> That's so stupid. All right, turn it off. Did we, did we get killed? We didn't get killed. Okay. Place it at the bed. We switch now. So now we need... We have 10 minutes in game. Do we have... No, yeah, we're fine. Okay. Uh, 10.48 is when we have to swap. Check. Let's go back here. 1049. 1049 is when we have to swap. Because I just connected. We could... Now, we need to get a motion sensor, by the way. Am I insane? Get a motion sensor. Check. And then we can also buy a remote VPN, just for bonus. We would really like to have the Blue Whisperer, though. I think I'd rather have a Blue Whisperer, so just, like, get another hack here. I would, 
I would assume that getting a bike in the US must be so cheap. Or I guess not. Because I guess it's like supply and demand. Oh. Because people in the Netherlands needs like there's more bikes here than there are people. There is over the amount of population in, in terms of bikes. So uh, it's like, I think when I got my bike, it was like, it's like between, depending on how nice of a bike you get, if you go like beyond like janky grandma bike, uh, it's usually around like five to 500 to a thousand. If you want like an actually like good bike with some features rather than just like, I mean, if you want an e-bike, you pay an insane amount. E-bike e -bike is like the price of a small car. Like e-bikes can be like, I don't know, 5,000 or something? Three to 5,000 or something? It's crazy. I don't know why they're so expensive. I mean, I guess it's the battery or something. Battery and a motor. Nice. Okay. Now we'll get the Blue Whisperer. We'll get that shipping. We already got a VP. No, we don't have a VPN yet. E-bikes here are 2K. Okay, maybe they're 2 I've never bought an e-bike, nor have I looked at them. I just know people always complain about how expensive they are, so I just assume they're like 3,000 or something. Because you can buy like a, a really nice race bike for like a little over a thousand. I mean, race bikes are so... No one here... Like if you look at the the average percentage of people... Do we have to swap, by the way? 49. The average percentage of people that are biking as a sport, it's actually higher in the US than in the Netherlands. Because in the Netherlands, people do not consider biking a sport. They're just like, I'm getting to my job. Get the fuck out of my face. Leave me alone. <laughs> so yeah. It, don't, it doesn't count as, as like... People don't actually sport bike at all. That's a way more common in other places. Strangely enough. Why should, they should just replace cars with like those vehicles in the Flintstones where you like walk yourself. That'd be nice. Same in Switzerland. It's all the same? What the fuck? That would solve global warming immediately. Oh, come on. Yeah, 49 swap. I'm doing rule of three first. After rule of three, we're swapping. Ah! Hopefully we'll get it in time. Okay. They were all the same. Jesus. Ah! This is awful. I'm gonna die. Wait. This one is three, two, one, two, three, one, three, two, one. There. Okay, I need to fucking there. Okay. Get it and disconnect. Favorite it and disconnect. Disconnect. Don't kill me. Woo! Okay, we place it here. The, the sounds on that website are pretty sad. So this one we can only stay until 55. Actually, we should get stuff, in, stuff anyway. Well, let's connect real quick. Is it delivered already? Um, it is shipped. Okay, so let's just disconnect. Lucas isn't here yet, so we should be fine just going out. 
And then we... Where were we connected just now? We were connected to the bed. Where did I just take it from? I placed it there, but did it come from the bed or did it come from the desk? I think it came from the bed, right? Yeah. Okay, so then I place it back at the desk. We could actually have Breather show up here, which would be really annoying. I hope not. Because last time we went down four times, I think. And two of those times we had Breather show up. Breather time, potentially. Fun fact, the word bed looks like a bed. Holy shit. I didn't hear anything. I had my fan, my computer fans were going crazy, so I don't actually know. Pretty sure I didn't hear shit. Okay, I don't think there's anyone. Door! Yeah, we have two packages. What is going on? One, two. Yeah, the breather takes forever. Yeah, it's not compared to, nothing compared to the first game where it takes, I don't know, like, genuinely five minutes of holding a button to get him to leave. Ridiculous. I mean, it's indicative of how important a car is in the US that you can get your driver's license from 16. What what age uh, requirements are there around the world? Because here it's 18. I always thought it was 18 in most places, except the US. You can get your license at 17, but you can't drive alone until 18. So it's still 17. Or it's it's still 18, I consider. You can start lessons as early as, I don't know, like 16 or something, I think. I got my driver's license on the day that I turned 18. Because I did my... Uh, Lessons between 17 and 18, which I always recommend that to people. If you're young right now, get your driver's license ASAP because once you get into uni or you get like, even in uni, once you get old, it's going to be hard to ever find time to do it. I highly recommend doing it. You think you're busy right now when you're like, I don't know, 17? Trust me, you're gonna be never less busy than now. You are the most free you'll ever be. So just get your damn driver's license. I mean, if you're in a place where you need to get it. If you're, like, living in a fucking city in Germany somewhere, you don't really need to bother, but... Oh, there we go. So life just gets worse. It gets busier, not necessarily worse. Oh, baby, circle square. Circle square, circle square, circle square, circle square. Circle square, circle square, circle square, circle square, circle square, circle square, circle square. Unpopular opinion, but they should retest you on the driving portion every few years. Well, the kind of the point with the driving portion, I think it's like people they assume that once you get your driver's license, you drive. So then you like maintain your own driver skill. Like, oh, hey, buddy, how you doing? You got me last time. Piece of shit. 
Anyway, we got the motion alert. That's good. Now we need another motion sensor. And then we're good. Then we just need hacks. That's it. Then we're set up. Only takes like half an hour to properly set up in this game. Kind of nice. Uh, and we got all the wikis. We just need... Oh, we just need Wi-Fi. Uh, wi we need internet. When did I swap to this? Does anyone pay attention? I am not paying attention. I'm going to get killed. Okay, he's gone. Um, wait, how... This, it was 49? No way. Wait. Wait, then we're dead. What? Was it 55? 57? Why are people... Excuse me? I'm confused. Um, I mean, what we have to... We just need to get this thing. We're dead. You said 10.55, we need to change. Well, that was something... That was, like, something else. That was before we left, right? Okay, we're still alive. Uh, let's go get this motion sensor. I just purchased a motion sensor, right? Can you try speedruns? Speedruns do not work with the current way I stream. Speedruns are like 99% resets and 1% having fun. You, If you watched like some speedruns that I posted on YouTube, you're seeing the 1%. You wouldn't want to actually watch that. I promise you. Okay. Don't kill me. Please no breather. For the love of God. Give me a two breather two no breather streak. Alright, here we go. I don't think I heard anything. Let's go. Holy shit. Nice. Okay, but we don't- we never have to go down ever again. Because now we set up the two motion sensors and then Lucas is no problem. And then we're never gonna turn off a single light. So Lucas is gonna stay in the room for fucking 10 million years. But at least we're not gonna have to deal with getting killed by Noir randomly. You wouldn't have risked it. I mean, I didn't hear a, sh a thing. Okay. So now we don't have to go down anymore until we win the game. Kind of. How is it? That's terrifying. Because now... Because I got it to happen in such a weird spawn. Noir can be anywhere. Oh no. Okay, you're not here. Oh, that's terrifying. If you get... Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. Because if you don't sit at the computer while the power goes out, Noir can spawn like on top of you and kill you, all kinds of weird shit. You really don't want that. Okay, no one's here. Let's go. We set up this thing. We got this. Well, like, welcome to the game one or two more. I think welcome to the game two is a completely objectively better game than welcome to the game one. I think the only thing you could say about welcome to the game one is that it was easier to beat than welcome to the game two, which to some people might make it like a better experience. But this one is just feels so much more immersive. Uh... We swap. You said 55? I guess we go to the bed now again. So we have the, the earpiece. We have the motion alert. Everything is set up, right? Okay, we're going to connect to the bed at 11-8. 11-9. 11 and we get a hat. Please give me circle square. Okay, this is fine too. As long I'm so glad we haven't been getting any wait, is that bugged?
We haven't gotten any um, memory hacks today. Okay, I'm just literally going to buy both of these and then disconnect hack the Wi-Fi. So I need to buy uh, back doors as well. Now I jinxed it. The way the game works is that if it gives you a hack, it'll give you more of that same hack during the round and keeps it keeps ramping up the same hacks. It's really inclined to give you the same hack over and over again. So once you've seen two hacks, you are most likely going to get those two over and over again so you don't necessarily have to worry <clears throat> about um, like the memory hacks anymore. Okay, well we are fine. We got the we got WPA2. Now we're not gonna have the key finder for a while. We want more back doors. We got seven back doors, that should be fine. And now it's gonna beep as well. Okay. So Lucas is taken care of. Very nice. Uh and also the fucking hacks in Welcome to the Game 1 were so miserable. The typing hack was actually so fucked up. Okay, it's installed. Now we go... Now we go hack. Hacky time. We can even do... Mega hack, but I think I'll just do a regular hack. Because I forgot how to do the... I mean, I don't forgot how to do the glitch, but I forgot how to hack this specific one. Actually, isn't it super easy? Wait, what? Oh, we're on the wrong one! We need to be here. Okay, scanning. You know what? Let's uh, exit. WEP. Scan. I can do this even faster. I forgot between which one. Okay. Um. How does this work? Help. Oh my god. Uh, probe. Okay, probe. X. D. 7P, B1, 7N, W5. And then we're going to probe between, I think it was 600 and 800, if I remember correctly. But I'm not entirely sure. Janifa, thank you for the four. Please. No, I need to go further. It might be up. Oh, it's going to be close to a thousand. All right, try again. I think it's going to be... Maybe it was earlier. Between 800 and a thousand. This one is always faster, even if I get this wrong. Even if this takes a while. It might be between... I don't think it's between four and six hundred. What the hell? Maybe it is. All right, well, never mind then. I'm stupid. We're going to go between 4 and 600. Okay, I think you're looking for Oh yeah, here. We're looking on a range from 1 to 1000. So you could literally just type in This one is like reasonable to hack cuz you could just type probe 1 to 1000 and then just wait for it to tick through all of them. Um Well, turns out I'm stupid. Did I not Yeah, I did. I am using the right one. Oh, well, 400. Um, it can't be between 100 and 200. There we go. Okay, open port at 275. Okay, so now we're going to go. How does this work again? How do you do this? You go crack this. Okay, I remember. Okay, so we go crack... Crack this net, this code, the 7P, E1, 7N, W5, and then the start channel is 8, and the open port is 275. Okay, so that's, that's the one we have to crack. Then we do, so let's fill that in over here. Boom. 
Uh, and then we do go exit. We go to WPA2. We go scan. And do we have to swap? We're not even connected right now. We don't have to worry about any of this. We're hacking right now. Then we go probe. We type this out. Probe. Uh, because this still does. Yeah, this still works. Nice. So we go probe 5L VC E4. E4. Uh, we might get. No, we don't gotta get Lucas here. Two or one one. Not can not recognize, which is fine. Then we do snuff box one one S. I'm setting up a massive hack here. We're gonna go absolutely sicko mode. Just wait for a second. Uh, two I V R A three check. And then snuff box. Which oh no, I did the that is snuff box. And then zero zero F seven ninety ES. Okay, so this should be fine. And we go exit and we go W E P. Then we go get these commands back. So we do this one. We do that one. And we do this one. Okay, so now we got all those three set up. Then we type our copy paste. We go that and then one, two, three, four. There. Okay, so now we're now we're hacking ethical hacker. Um, and then we need to do this for all of them. Let's go. He's done it. Ethical. Oh boy, so this is like the super glitch that made this is one of the things that uh Do you even get WPA2 on the speedrun anymore? You used to. I don't know if you do that anymore. I'm not sure. Jupiter. Uh and then we do Let's get this one ready. Which is that one? No. This one. Snuff box. Okay, now we're doing snuff box. So, this is the same trick, but it's even weirder. And this is why it took us a while to find this glitch. Because right now, this is a WPA2 network, but we're cracking it by using WEP, which is way easier than WPA2. So, um,. Like, we are... We're basically probing a network that doesn't- that can't be probed. <laughs> and we're still resetting the, the like, pointer to point at Snuffbox. So it still- it still gives us the password, even though it doesn't make any sense. Because this is not a WP, WEP network in the first place, so it shouldn't work at all, but it still does. Um, let's see, which one now? Which one have we not done? This one. Okay, and then we do crack. One, two, boom. Okay, so now we get them all. Ethical, snuff box, and bring beer. Let's go. Yeah, WP2 is 100 times better. We're not... We can't even die because we have don't have this. We have the motion alerts. Wait, I have the motion alert, right? Otherwise, I'm dead. Ah, we'll find out. Um, Bring beer. October. Okay, we got... So now we're going to connect Ethical Hacker at 11.28. So now it's back to every 20 minutes. So 11.48, we need to swap back. We're going to get hacked. We didn't get hacked. Wait, that means we're probably dead. Never mind. It's not. Do I have the motion alert? I do have the motion alert. Okay, so we're fine. Anyway, I feel I, this feels scary. Uh, okay, we just need to try and find. Is the window open yet? It's not open even, so he can't even be here yet. Uh, let's do. There's so many good pages here. What the fuck? This one's amazing. Click it, click it, click. This is extremely cursed. 
Uh, Myriad. We haven't found a single key. We have found one key. <laughs> Alright then. Let's go. Uh, that's on which wiki? Was that the second one? No, that was the third one. This lead mode? No, this is normal mode. We're playing casually. Um, this is wiki three. This one. Okay. One key number one. We're probably gonna. Oh Jesus! Wait, we're insane! How the fuck? That's actually crazy. Wait, this is insane. Shut up. Um. I don't think you have to have the sound on to get the motion alert. That was Ricky 3 again. Wait. So the window is still closed, which means that all the websites we visited up till now didn't have a key. So we can still use the window trick. Which is incredible. Uh, That's really good. So let's do some annoying websites. So yeah, all of these are, are key free. Evidence locker, also key free. Nice. Then we go, all of these are not that bad. Uh, so we're gonna go through them later. Thanks for visiting. Don't tell, oh my God, every time. <laughs> are you kidding me again? Why? Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> you piece of shit. God damn it. This is like so unlucky. This is what speedruns are like though. Like you just constantly get keys on sites. Like this would have we would have gone through the whole run just playing normally and then we would have to reset because the key was in a bad spot. Like that would that happens so much. Drives, drives me insane. <laughs> Give me a good circle square. A big, fat, juicy circle square. Oh, baby. Look at that. Circle square. Uh, circle square, 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 square, circle square, circle square, circle square, circle square. Did I fuck it up? Hopefully not. Nice. Come on, give me a hundred or something. Give me a good amount. Not what you like to see. Uh, this is gonna take forever. This fucking this story is so stupid. It's also is this Comic Sans? I don't know how people are so good at recognizing Comic Sans. I genuinely don't care. That is not Comic Sans, because it's ugly. It's like one of those things that I just, I mean, you wouldn't want it as like on your gravestone, but like, it's just a font. Like, it's not going to kill you. Called Ook Pop. This is the best story. You got to read it. It's very interesting. Did I already do this? Yeah, I think I did that one. Come on. Don't make my effort go to waste. I mean, we know the key is here, so at least we're spending our time efficiently. And we got all the Wi-Fi's already. It's just the key finder now that's missing, that's all. The end. There, never mind. I thought this was the key, but it's not. Um, don't click here, we go to fake main. Which, which website is this? This is slide 2. We need to type slide 2 later. Slide 2, so we can get to the different face. Slide 2. Bunch of numbers. Do this one first, which is... This is numbers, which is where the key was last game. 
was on one of these. So now Lucas can show up, so we are in danger. Have to be careful. Oh, no, oh, never mind. That's just the. Where does this go? Oh, this goes back here. Nice. And we can go here. To slide one. You should leave. This leads to creep. Oh, no. This is baby shrimp. Baby shrimp. Then we choose our shrimp wisely. Then we go to this bullshit. Posture. We want to have a good posture. And everyone does. Here are some helpful posture questions to ask yourself. Do I sit tall with feet flat on the floor? Sit with my buttocks against the lower back of my chair. Hold my head high and keep my chin up marionette style. Walk with my legs. Terrifying. How much is the rating? Alien, thank you for the four. Okay, we need to not mess this up. The kind of the very interesting part about this game is that if you play it like actually well, it is not like you it's not scary like it doesn't look scary because you avoid all the dangers uh which is kind of an interesting the way the game works the better you are the less scary it seems because you don't get constantly jump scared by all the things that kill you uh and you don't get like policed and stuff like that anyway we were an ethical hacker let's go to snuffbox 43 okay 43 we go to snuffbox 43 uh which is christ so we need to go offline at 12 3 12 3 whoops what my caps locked there um 12 we need to disconnect i would love to be hacked again what was i doing i was reading Walk with my legs close together, swinging them from the hip, from the hip joints. Walking, letting my heel hit the ground first, followed by the outside of my foot, then toe. I'm pretty sure that's not... Is this... I mean, I guess. Is that a good posture? Is this... oh. It's like smashing your heel on the ground first. I thought it was just like set your whole foot down at once. It's good posture. Um. Okay. Big circle square. The fattest, juiciest circle square. Oh, baby! Woo! Have you ever seen a sexy circle square like this? Circle square, circle square, circle square, circle square, circle square, circle square. Wait, I fucked up? Circle square, 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 circle. Wait, how did that get? Circle square, 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 circle. I don't know how I got misaligned there for a sec. What? What a scam, dude. That's some bullshit. I'm so sad. Oh, get ready. Oh! <laughs> oh! What the fuck, dude? <laughs> everyone. It's everyone, man. Where the fuck is this key? We're back to baby shrimp. Wait, I think we actually... Whatever, dude. I'm, st I'm done with this shit. I'm done with your bullshit. I'm just gonna check some other pages. Okay, here we go. Wiki 3. How many keys did we found, uh, find? We found two on Wiki 3. Thanatos is right now. I love Thanatos. What? That's crazy. We are done with wiki three. Holy shit. <laughs> wiki three. We got all the keys. That's insane. We checked like three pages here. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, we go to... Uh, which one next? Drones? None of these. Your data, I think? Or is that between 30 and... It's between 30 and 45. Rip. 
Need to swap? No, we already swapped. It was a 10, 11, or 12, oh, 03. We rock. We rock. Some of these we have to recheck, though. It's just... It was nice to have so many VPNs. I think they did pay for it for themselves. We have Andesite. Norite. Nice. I remember that one. Let's go. E on Wiki2. Boom. Uh, red triangle is right now. Do 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 do. How is Lucas not here? Is he is he like just behind me right now? Like did something go wrong with the motion sensors? I'm confused. I'm just gonna click everything here. I'm very nervous that he hasn't done anything. We placed two motion sensors right, and we got the sound alert, and we have the blue whisper. concerning just gotta click on everything now there's only a specific subset of words that can have the key but the problem is that you need to memorize them and especially in a website like this you can okay no lights no lights we're just gonna go full brightness mode whatever we'll just be sitting here for the rest of eternity. Let's see how long this takes. Let's have a timer. Panicky Panda, thank you for the three. Open the damn door. I love this game, me too. Okay, he's opening. This is a pretty nice apartment, by the way. Did you know, Welcome to the Game 3 is being made in Unreal Engine 5. Which is... Uh... Very cool. I never understood um, what the problem was with uh, with all the games that Adam started. I don't know why, like, rights with... I really don't... I, I'm just curious. Like, I would love to hear from the man himself. I, he probably is dead tired of all the questions, but I really wonder why he, like, never just... I guess I'm just an idiot, and I don't know how long it takes to make a game. I just feel like it would have been way more lucrative because he is like, as everyone should, uh, it's a business. So you need to care about how much money something makes because there's a lot of talk about that when a new Welcome to the Game comes out. Like if it does financially well or financially poorly, Adam isn't, share, isn't shy to share that information. Like for example, Screwed and Ice did very poor in the in the sales department which uh i think that really dis disheartened him i think um but i don't understand why because everyone knows rights with strangers like everyone knows even people that have no idea like it's it's such a famous game in like the horror uh circles i really don't know why he didn't take like a year to finish the game like it didn't have to be the most polished product i guess i guess that's also like a perfectionist kind of thing where you don't want to release a game that is just like not a massive amount of work right it's just like kind of it feels like wanting to have your cake and eating it too like you can't at the same time make super like like take five years to make a game like you're putting all your eggs in one basket right I feel like releasing many games, like Chill is Art, for example, releases many games, and I'm pretty sure they're doing extremely well for themselves. They just, like, spam out games like it's nobody's business. They're, like, an hour long, and people eat that shit up. Uh, Adam says he doesn't have the money to finish right with strangers. Oh, I see. Yeah, I get... I mean, like, time is money, so even if you... Like, even a solo dev needs to eat food and, like, keep a roof over their head. Um, oh, there he goes. Bye-bye! Okay, so we don't even have to turn a light. So if I now die, I'm actually gonna lose my mind. 
Okay, I didn't die. That took around three minutes. That's fine. It's three minutes. We can't ever get back. Let's swap to... So we were on Snuffbox, right? So let's go to Bring Beer. Uh, Probably gonna get hacked. We need to go October. Bring Beer. October. So we're gonna... At 12.20, we need to swap away from Bring Beer. All right? Remember, friends? Anyway... Yeah, I can imagine. He said it'll cost them around 500k to 1 million. Holy shit. Damn. I don't know anything about game design, so I don't know. I don't know why that's so expensive. I mean, I guess... Is it really that expensive to, like, live? That means it... Because, like, in order to live... Like, putting in purely your own blood, sweat, and tears... How ex... Like, that's... I mean, it kind of depends on how high you value your own time, right? A lot of people should value their time higher than they do. It's kind of like, I mean, this is the, now you're getting into like a whole societal, <laughs> I don't know, philosophy of, of working and, and wages and stuff like that. It's, I'm an idiot. I have had two jobs in my entire life. One was, Jesus Christ, I can't hear myself think. I've had two jobs. One was working in a supermarket for three years, and the other was being a teaching assistant for three years, so I don't really have the most work experience to go off of. I'm just, uh, I just make videos. Circle, square, 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 circle, square. What did I assist teaching? Anything. Anything, uh, science. You can, the way the teaching assistants work, uh, or being a teaching assistant work is that every month you, like, sign up for a course that you've had in the past and you want to teach. Like, you have, you have, like, a specific... Holy shit, we're getting so shafted on these, <laughs> on these fucking rewards, man. Like, those last two hacks should have easily been, like... A hundred plus. That's so bullshit. Anyway, whatever. I'm not crying. Um. So. What the hell? Are there any keys? So you just sign up for a course you had. You, I think the, the requirements were like, you need to have had the course, obviously. And you needed like a minimum grade. So you're not just like bad at the class, obviously. Because <laughs> that would be... It would be bad for both the people learning from you and yourself because you're going to be lost in the sauce which i definitely did some courses where i was lost in the sauce like i i i didn't just go for the easy course it didn't even matter by the way which course you did for the amount of money you got so picking all the easy courses would have obviously been the best if you wanted to just like have an easy time but i chose like all the courses i enjoyed as a student the most turns out Learning about algorithms is way more fun if you're not the one teaching it. <laughs> and for some reason, I did it two years in a row. I don't know what's wrong with me. I still... That's like... I have nightmares. I have like... Uh, what do you call it? What's the English word for minderwaardigheidscomplex? That's, that's a mouthful right there. Say that ten times. <laughs> not PTSD. Any Dutch people in the chat that know what I just said? <laughs> okay, there seems to be no Dutch people. Bless you. <laughs> low, it's not low self-esteem. It's like it's oh, it's uh, it's uh, what is it called? Imposter syndrome. There you go. It was on the tip of my tongue. It's imposter syndrome. That's what it's called. <laughs> yes, like severe imposter syndrome. Working in like. Some of the most complicated courses in my university and like people go to you with some of like insanely complicated like advanced questions and you're just like ah <laughs> uh let me look it up real quick because i don't know but then you have to pretend to know it because otherwise like people why would they ever come to you so it was it was weird I mean, some of them were so easy. There was one course in particular that I... 
Like, I did not do every- Oh, God. Some courses were so much more work than others, and it was kind of, like, passed around in the, like, teaching assistant circles. Like, do, don't avoid this course at all costs, because you're going to be doing ten times the work. You're going to be grading tests. You're going to be grading assignments, doing practical assignments. Some even had to do, like, like semi-lectures, and, like, others, you have to just do, like, show up for the for the classes and just like um answer questions so i mostly stuck to the ones where you only had to show up for the classes we were to we were to bring beer right it was october because otherwise i still remember that like there was one course where for some reason it was so dumb you had to show up during lectures as well to just sit there and like I don't, I don't really know what the teacher wanted. It was so strange. So I just remember like, I remember like making Factorio spreadsheets while <laughs> while uh, sitting in that course. I was a nerd, okay? <laughs> like how to get the best smelter. <laughs> Good God, man. That was the time. I think I still have like, if I click on Reddit, if I type Reddit, yeah, fully, fully mixed smelter setup. I still, return of the smart smelter. I still have some pages favorite. What is this page? When did this post get posted? It was posted eight years ago. It has, it has 63, 63 upvotes. <laughs> I was into some weird shit. Anyway, we're playing a video game. Okay, we really need to be hacked, man. When did we need to swap? Does anyone have it on... Does anyone have it somewhere? Tw 1220, okay. We're gonna be so lost. When it comes to keys, at least. On this website. It's fine, though. Why are we so slow? We should have passwords. Father Donald. And I saw a great Then I saw white a great throne. white throne. And him who was seated on it. From his presence, earth and sky fled away. And no Does he read the whole thing? For them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne. And books were... Hey, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the 12. Okay, give me money. We will never find out. All right, give me a juicy circle swear. Oh, come on. This one is by far the hardest, I'd say. Just because even when you speed run, sometimes you get like almost, you almost don't have enough time. Okay. I don't understand this game. Death, the lake of fire. He's still talking? And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. What the hell? This is the second death, the lake of... What the hell? There's actually, like, there's a whole lore here of, like, hell. <laughs> the fuck? The man never stopped. Wait, was there a code there? I thought my cursor became clickable for a sec. God damn it! Probably gonna. So we really, we, the key finder has just been like a piece of shit. We, I did, I don't have enough time. It's already gone, right? Yeah, fuck me. It's from the Bible in Revelations. Oh, interesting. Uh, all of these are disastrous. Actually, like, all of these, we know there's no keys, right? We should really not look around too much. We should go to this one instead. Switch Wi-Fi. All right, let's switch. So we're going to go to Ethical Hacker again. And this was Jupiter. Oh, God. Okay, well, when did I just connect? Did anyone pay attention? It was like 120, right? Okay, so this is going to be another three. Any inside knowledge on the new Welcome to the Game? I don't think Adam likes me too much. 
I don't think Adam liked the speedrunners. <laughs> we were kind of the black sheep of the community. I like this. I like the games a lot, though. I don't dislike Adam at all, either. Just... I think he got upset with me. There were, like, a lot of people that came to me, like, Dude, you should hear what this person said about you. And I was like, dude, I don't care. <laughs> if we're not having, like, an outright fight, I'm not gonna... We're not gonna make any drama. But there was something about... Like... I think it was just that I didn't check out Mass of Deception fast enough. That's what I wa That was what I heard, at least. Where people were like... And I was really upset with me because I didn't play because I did play it. I did. I played like a whole multiplayer session with like six other five other streamers completely like sponsorship free. Like we just check. I, I didn't check it out right on release. Like, wait, I don't know why. I don't know why that was a problem. I just don't understand. <laughs> Drama era when so we like played it. We enjoyed it. There was like nothing bad to say. It was, it was strange. The new game is on Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, I know. Hey, Nasco, by the way. Good to see you. <clears throat> I just don't understand. But, like... Uh, I think at one point... Because we, we were talking in DMs. But he... Unfollowed me. And the, the main part that, that I was like, what? There was... In, in Scrutinize, there was a... Um, there was a, there's nightmare mode, which no one has ever beaten except me. So when I beat it for the first time, Adam posted a tweet that was like, congratulations to me and Sim for beating it. But he deleted the tweet because I didn't play Master Deception. I was just like, <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> like, what's this drama? Why are we having a beef? We're just, it's just, we're playing video games. We're having fun. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway. Like, I, I... I... I still wish that a Massive Deception went, like, crazy mode. I think it just... If there was, like, flexible lobbies between, like, three... I guess it wouldn't have worked with three players, though. It's just a... Like, it, that's why Among Us... Among Us... How When did Among Us come out? Among Us came out at, like... Like, 10 years before it got popular or something. Because multiplayer game... No, Among Us didn't come out in 2018, right? It came out way earlier. Wait, really? I swear Among Us came out, like, a few years before it got popular. So it came out... Two when did it get popular? It was in COVID era, right? That it got popular? It got popular in 2020. That's because... Multiplayer games that are indie multiplayer games just do not do well. Like, they need, like, large streamers or, like, big updates all the time. Like, it's a wonder that Phasma has left, lasted this long. It's a wonder that, that Among Us is probably pretty dead by now, I would assume. Because, um... Like, online-only games are just really risky. Like, I, I, I commend people, like, devs that just really want to make a multiplayer game and they just, like, go for it. They're like, I I just want, I like multiplayer games the most. I want to make a multiplayer game. Like, most Monstrum 2, they wanted to make a multiplayer game. They made a multiplayer game. But even a game as, like, legendary as Monstrum 2... Because, I mean, Monstrum 1 is a really... Like, that was a really iconic game. Uh, even a game with an IP as big as Monstrum couldn't make it work. Like, Monstrum 2 died on arrival. It was, it was like, dead. Uh, as soon as it it came out, which was such a shame, because I love that game. Fall Guys, is Fall Guys still going? Um, your data is in two minutes here. Uh, Grandma Fantasy. It is? People still play it? It's just, there's something about multiplayer games that just doesn't do very well because I think it's like a, a, a very strong vicious cycle because if there's like one day where somewhere there's like not enough players to to get a lobby it like spirals out of control because then someone will come online they'll they'll check to play a game they'll be like wait there's no lobbies 
and then they just assume the game is dead and they never come back. Um, like, if there's not at if like the minimum peak isn't like a certain amount of players. Like in Phasma, I think the minimum amount of people that are playing it at a certain time is like 50, is like not, is like 5,000 or something. Like there's always more than 5,000 people playing. Um, because if it would dip really low, then someone would come online at a specific time of the day and not find the lobby and just assume the game is dead and never come back. Even though on other times of the day there are people and then that just kind of spirals out of control because people like keep assuming the game is dead. Uh, which is like a really, it's like a, the, the life of a, a multiplayer only indie game. They just, they're like doomed to fail. Cause the thing with like a single player game is that, and that's why I think any multiplayer game should always have a single player mode. Like that's, I think, cause like if, if, when we play on like old Phasmo, right? When we play on old Phasmo. There is uh, a sound effect that was specifically made for when there is no players online. It's like, looks like nobody is out there uh, in need of help. Well, we'll check next time. And he like, so DK making the game planned for the event that the game would die, <laughs> which is like, you never know. Like Phasmo as insanely successful as it is right now, the dev didn't know it was going to get successful. People just uh, thought, like, or he, he was like, I, I need to put in this stuff just in case the game dies, which, oh, God. I prob Oh, nice. E? But, yeah. I, I just can't wait for Welcome to the Game 3. It's going to be, it's, like, been such a long time since we've seen a new entry in the Welcome to the Game uh, games. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be spooky. And the fact that it's Unreal Engine 5, I think that's really smart because Unreal Engine 5 is like the new, um, the new hotness. Like if your game is made in Unreal Engine 5, people forgive you for like most of the problems. They're just like, the game looks amazing. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> Give me the game. That's what I do sometimes. Can I please get hacked by the way? Because games are, like, Unreal Engine is just so sexy. It looks so good. Uh, where, I don't even know where to go anymore. Like, there's so many websites. Uh, with potential keys on them. Unreal Engine doesn't make, there is a, there is a certain aspect to the lighting you have to nail. But if you have been following Adam and looked at his Twitter, the game looks insane. Like, it looks very good. Like, he shared some screenshots of the game. The lighting is very on point. I don't know if they're gonna keep it. Uh, like, cause, cause usually with games, they need to, like, downgrade some knives. Okay, this should be enough to get the QQ. Swap soon. Yeah, we need to swap after this. We should also do some force hacks, by the way. Oh, come on. B, E, V. B, B, V, Y. B, B, V, E, B, V, Y, U. Memory hack, they do exist. J, J, Q, J, Q, Z, U. J, Q, J, Q, Z, U. R, J, R, J, Z, T. R J Z T. That's still enough, I think. Holy shit. That's crazy. I think this is Christ. Christ. Um and then we buy it. Let's go. Okay, we still need more money. So we still should buy some of these. So we, we logged on at 39, by the way. Keep that in mind. Man, this game is long, huh? <laughs> Black Swan, thank you for the 30. This game is hard. Okay, we have more than enough now. We should be fine. 
I gonna die? I'm so scared. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm not focused enough, so I'm gonna get killed. So we need to... It's eight. We have more than enough. Okay, so we kind of just need to get... Um... Like, any key we can find would be, like, a nice bonus until... I think this takes five minutes to install, so we're kind of just waiting for that right now. So what would be ideal... What would be amazing, Lucas, is if Lucas shows up right now... So then we can waste those five minutes waiting in the closet, and then we can... Lucas? He's not showing up. Ravuze, thank you for the prime. Neko Star, thank you for the five. Thank you. Wait, did I just go three? No, no, no. Okay. Um, drone spy... Where did we get that key? I already forgot where I got the key. Um, oh, I got it on... Was it number station? I think it was number station. Alex, thank you for the sub. Oh, God. Hi! Look at that. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? I've never seen that in like the hundreds of hours I've played. <laughs> I've never seen him change pose. What the fuck? That is weird. Okay. Now please, Lucas, don't kill me right away. Adora, thank you for the prime. Okay. We just connected, right? So we can go back to... It was not box, right? Yeah, we just connected at 39, right? It was not box, I think. Was it snuff box? Does anyone remember? It was snuff box. Okay, thank you. Okay, how long are we? Can you show up, please, Lucas? Like, you're gonna show up right after I have the key queue installed and then we're gonna have to wait for a million years before we can is there anything we can get on i guess we could just check um st louis arch because this one's not too bad you just have to click a lot actually there's one page here that has a ton of hey, whatever just go it's fine if we find it in the Source code, we find it, otherwise we'll come back here with the key queue. Hey, it's Grey Hill Incident. <laughs> Let's go. Snowy, thank you for the 23. Okay. Why does the door open in your face? It's closing your face, you mean? It's to avoid... I mean, there's no other way around it. It's just, it's to avoid people, uh, oh no, I was too late. It's to avoid people using, uh, like doors to clip out of bounds. That's it. That's the reason. Oh wait, I'm on the third wiki. Why am I here? I'm stupid. Um, there we go. Okay, nice. Red Dragon, thank you for the gift sub. Okay, please give me not memory, not memory. Okay, holy shit. Crazy money. <laughs> Let's go, dude. That's insane. Okay. It's, it's crazy. Lucas has... Am I dead? No. Okay. We got the key queue. All right. Where do we have keys? Where do we got to go? We have... two. We need one on the first wiki, two on the second wiki. So let's go to the first wiki. Anything specific? I think number... I forgot where we found the key. I think we found one on number station. But number station isn't now, right? No. 
I'm pretty sure we found one on number. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, let's just go through these really shitty pages. Um, do we have to swap soon, by the way? We swapped at 39, right? Um, I like how Warehouse 3 is marked off. It's like blocked off. But in... Uh, yeah, here. Warehouse 3 is currently inactive while the contamination crew finishes their lockdown procedure. Uh, but in Welcome to the Game 1, Warehouse 3 is still available. Which is kind of interesting how they like change between the games. I like the universe building. Very cool. The key queue did install. Okay, there's one page on here where I think I have to blur the screen because there's a... Because the, the, the filter doesn't work. Also, you gotta love how sometimes the filter, like, delays. It, like, loads in a second after the site is loaded. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to hide the screen here in order to go to this website. Okay, there's no key on it. Just making sure. Just making sure there's a butt on that page. I can't show you the butt. There's one page where they forgot to add the filter. Um, Evil Collection... We don't have to go there, I think. The gray. How is... Am I dead? Like, genuinely, what the fuck is going on? How is Lucas not here? I feel like I'm losing my mind. It's been so long. Lucas gave up. He's gonna just murder me. I think we're dead. This is terrifying. I hate this. <laughs> okay. Um, bathroom camps is not real on this game. Hidden Pleasures is very real, but the most annoying website? I guess we go through it, though. Oh, fuck. Sale requests. Jesus. If there's no key here, we're going to be in trouble. This website is so annoying. Message. Submit, is that a page? I think this is 404. Yeah. I am very concerned. Why? I think it's also fake. Nope. Okay. Ah, uh, we must have missed it then. That's really bad. Which website? St. Louis? Oh, nice. I mean, not really. It doesn't really matter. St. Louis. That means there's no danger, though, actually. That's really good. Because if you get a hack, that means that there's nothing, like, queued up to kill you. If it gets too quiet, it usually means you're dead. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, at least we're not getting impossible hacks here. Remember when we were playing Leap Mode and we got an impossible hack, so we, we lost at, like, when we were basically winning? It was so fucked. Jesus Christ, brother. Holy shit. This is crazy. All right, well, we're going to buy VPNs now, I guess. No reason not to. Because uh, we don't want to be hacked anymore. All right, we're going back to St. Louis Arch because we didn't really visit this one properly. Please tell me there's a key on this one. Also, we should swap, right? Let's swap. Uh, bring beer. We go to bring beer, which is October. Okay, so 18, we need to swap one or 18 minutes past midnight or no past one. Um, we need to swap. Buy more of this. Bien. This one is so much slower. Nothing here. Why will you die? No, this is very annoying. Wait, where did we check? I swear I did like, I love cats before. Because we knew the QQ worked. Like, I don't have to recheck websites. Oh no, I went back. That's unnecessary. Uh, 
Which webs- I should have not checked anything on this one. This was stupid by me. Uh, St. Louis Arch we checked. The gr I know you can't really see it, by the way. It's behind me. Uh, warehouse I checked. Light within, maybe? Oh, no, we found a key here. Oh, hey, that was last game? I'm sure we did a key here at one point. Um, what do we got? Vacation. Vacation didn't have a key. Light within, no. Thanks for visiting. Wait, we found... The Wait, we didn't find the key on Thanks for Visiting! I'm stupid. Wait, no, we didn't find it yet. I'm wasting all my time looking for a key we already had. I'm stupid. Someone who was watching who knows this game was like losing their mind and they were like unable to talk to anyone else because no one actually knows how this game works except me. <laughs> yeah, happy midsummer to the Swedish people, by the way. Hope you're having a... What is it? What do you say again? Glad midsummer or something? You probably pronounce it very different though. What do you guys do? What is Midsummer? What do you do for Midsummer? Do you just like run around a statue of a vagina? Well, isn't that what you do? <laughs> I'm like, it sounds stupid, but isn't it actually what you do though? Isn't that what you? Isn't that the thing? The like little? Oh, it's uh, what do you call it? Straight to jail? No, I'm telling you, this is not, any Swedish people who can back me up here. Is what is the like symbol? It's like uh, what do you call it? It's a barmuderhals. What is the D English word for that? Any Dutch people in the chat? I don't know what the English word is for this body part. Cervix. <laughs> It's a pee pee? Uterus, of course. Wait, no, I can block this one. Uterus, that's the word. I, I, I got, I got flustered. But my brain stopped working. Isn't that like pole looking thing? I swear you guys are gaslighting me into thinking that I'm like insane. I'm pretty sure that's what some of the symbolisms during myths, or is that another festival thing? A maple thing. I'm pretty sure I'm not crazy. You guys are crazy. I'm pretty sure there's like that. <laughs> maple Lodge? Now you're definitely crazy. You guys are. Ah, let's go, Weezer! Finally. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Because I swear you guys are making me think I'm insane. Midsummer. What do you type? Midsummer. There. Yeah, you guys are you fucking gaslighter. This right here, isn't this a uterus? Isn't this a symbol? Am I crazy? I'm pretty sure that that's what it's supposed to be. No? What? I'm losing my mind. I thought that was what it was. What it was. <laughs> um, no? I swear that's what it's supposed to be. I never knew this existed. I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm pretty sure you're wrong. I'm pretty sure. Isn't Midsummer a f festival about fertility and stuff? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. It's a it's a penis. Yes, it's the womb. Okay, there you go. Womb. I don't know how I'm a fucking I play video games for a living. You think I know how female anatomy works? <laughs> this is too funny. <laughs> Bro, you went to college? I went- that makes it- Tell me you don't know where I went to college without telling me. There was two girls in the 
whole 150 people class? Who? Out of 150? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that does not help. Holy cow. This was back when... Um, I'm pretty sure it's gotten a lot better now, though. Because... There have been, like, a lot of programs in the ne Netherlands that are, like... Go into... Uh, what is it called? Like, uh, science? Like, math? Uh, computer science? And, like, I don't know... STEM! STEM, that's the word. Go into STEM when you're, uh, like, a female. Which, why, it sounds so weird. It, the word female sounds so degrading. Women. <laughs> like a female. <laughs> Women in STEM. There have been, like, lots of commercials that were, like... I mean, you gotta start somewhere. Because it was a big problem here. Like, there were just no women that chose to go into, like, STEM fields. So, there had to be commercials for it. it to normalize it, so people didn't... Because it was, like, a huge stigma against it. Because... Sexism. It's still pretty male-dominated. Oh, here we go. Let's go! Okay, do we need to swap? Okay, we live. Do we- wait, 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 when do we do? We should swap. Oh god. 18? Okay, let's swap now then. Okay, let's go. You're not gonna- You're gonna be in my room, you piece. Arden, thank you for the gift sub. How you doing, buddy? You want to see a magic trick? Look how I make this guy disappear. It's magic. Anyway. Um, what do I connect? Wait, what was I connected to? I was connected to... Any, any lore masters in the chat? Anyone who remembers? I was on beer? Bring beer. Okay, everyone's saying beer. I was on beer. So we go to Ethical Hacker. Um. Okay, thank you. Thank you for taking note of this. So we go to Ethical Hacker, gamers. Ethical Hacker at 16. So at 36, we need to swap. Got it? Okay, we're, we're installing VPNs. Okay, we have all the codes though, no? We need to... We need to go to the second one. So we were on ethical... Yeah, exactly. We go to... Okay, we, we got this. Oh no, I missed I am here again! <laughs> oh no. How many codes do I have? Wait, I missed the code here. It's code number seven, this one. Wait. This is the one that we just got from Wiki1, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then we have... So we have six. So we need two more on this. Good God, what the fuck. This is gonna be a mess. Your data needs to be... Ch no, your data, I think we found a key. We rock, we found a key, right? Yeah, on we rock, I found this key. It was on, like, Norite. Yeah, there we go. It was the second key. Check. Got that one. Okay, install this VPN. We're, we're never gonna get hacked again. How expensive is the next one? It's 40. We can still buy that. It's reduced by 80%. We shouldn't get hacked. Uh, let's check. Let's go from the top and just go through all of them one by one. Because otherwise we're gonna get lost. Okay, that one not. The objective of this game to find find keys to save a a lady. 
Evidence locker was was checked. I checked that one by using the window trick. So we are good. Then I saw a great, great white, white throne. throne. And him who was seated on it. Name a woman. Name a woman! The loud lady, yeah, who who just like screams at her Facebook followers. What's going on YouTube? Maybe. Grandma, no. What the hell? Everyone, is anyone playing the new Final Fantasy? Is it good? Um, I heard it was good. It's amazing. <gasps> Key time. Let's go. I heard a lot of people praising it. Although, isn't there like this? All my... <laughs> the only thing I've seen so far is people absolutely drooling at the sight of this one lady character in the game. It's probably not representative of the whole game, but it is really funny. <laughs> what is she called? Like, uh, I don't know. I forgot the name. She has like a Karen haircut, like with the dividing line in the middle. She's like, she's evil or something. Uh, okay, keep going. We found a key. Benedicta, yes, that's the name. <laughs> Everyone's going crazy for Benedicta. Grandma, we checked. Kill for me, we checked. Panty sales. A middle part? Don't you say... What do you call the place where your hair parts? Isn't that called a parting? What do you... What do you call that? Part. You just call it a hair part? Why are people gaslighting me today? <laughs> you, guys, you guys just be... I just say any word and you guys just repeat the word with a question mark and I'm just like out here losing my mind thinking like I'm saying some weird shit. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh yeah, we found this key already. I remember. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm getting trolled. Okay, we found that one. I say hairline. Oh, hairline is like how... <laughs> hairline is how much at the front, like, it, it pushes back, right? Jesus Christ. Um, which one? Passwords is not available. It can't be on here, right? Where the fuck is this key? Lindsay, thank you for the 10. What the hell? We rock, we found. It's gotta be on I Am Here. Are you fucking kidding me? No way, dude. The one site I couldn't check because I was a minute too late. I'm gonna... I'm gonna lose my shit. That is so annoying. Unless I'm... Unless I'm wrong. Also, we can't be hacked anymore. Let's go. Um... We could check your day that... You there? We already checked. And we should check you or your data in between 30 and 45. And when we need to swap at 36 or 38 or something. Okay. So we need to, this is annoying because there's not much we can do. There's not much we can do uh, besides wait because this website only opens at zero point. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, it, it saves every 10 in-game minutes, right? So it's if I reload the game, it's going to put me back at 20. No, nah, I don't think we can do that. Because maybe if I would have like left the game and then come back in, it would have booted me at t uh, 115, and then I could have quickly logged on and checked this website. But I don't think we can do that. I think the best strategy... No, because if I try it, then we're going to be set back in time. And then we're gonna have to wait even more. So we, we, I think we just have to 
We have to look on the other websites to make sure that we're not missing it. Like, I need to check your data here in, like, a second. So, we got a key, key from We Rock and from Kill... F no, we... Wait! Wait, I have three keys on this one. Wait, I'm insane. I'm losing my mind. Wait. Wait. We got a key from here, right? I'm pretty sure we did. And then we have a key from... Wait, we have all the keys then. Hey, no, we didn't. Yes, we did. Did I just not find this one? Oh, it was the fourth key. Fourth key? Wait. I missed a key. I didn't write one down. Guys, I get it. I get it. You you know how to... You're like a fucking... The late... Uh, the late subtitles right now. Uh, where's the, th the third key I have? Wait, so we found a key here. Which key was this then? Wait. What the fuck? Didn't I? I'm losing my mind. I think I'm missing a key. This key was in... Wait, I just have... I've been missing the sixth key this whole time. Why did I never post it in here? What the fuck? Wait, we are, We win! <laughs> We win the game! Wait, we won the game! Excuse me? Wait, we got all the keys. What, if, what am I doing here? Get me out of here! I think we have to wait, though, for Lucas to show up, otherwise we're gonna die. Um... So let's, uh, just wait. Because if Lucas shows up while you're leaving, you're gonna get killed. We could do it for the memes. Because it doesn't- wait. It doesn't really matter if we die, right? I've already beaten the game, so... I, I, I kind of do want to show you the ending, because there's a, a nice Easter egg. Uh, that refers to the first game, which is kind of cool. Uh, the third key. Fourth key. Fifth key. Six. I can't believe how fast we got these keys sometimes. Seven. And eight. I mean... Let's just fucking... Never mind, I fucked it up. <laughs> Wait, what the, what the fuck? Excuse me? Help. What happened? Wait, is some of these... Is one of these keys the same? Did I mess up the keys? Did I copy-paste them wrong? What am I doing? Change Wi-Fi? Just fucking log off. I don't care. Disconnect. Um. One. E. Two. This is why I never use the notepad. Because it's so annoying. Three. Uh, four. Five. Yeah, I do have them all, unless something went... Unless I somehow put a key here that we didn't get during this run. Which, I don't even know how that would have happened. Seven. Let's go! This is perfect! Okay, now we just have to troubleshoot what the fuck is going- Was there a freaking noir in the window, too? Now we just have to troubleshoot, um... The code situation, and then we'll be fine. You can hear him. So, I would have actually died. <laughs> if I filled it incorrectly, I would have died. So, I'm glad it didn't work. Okay. Yeah, there might be an invisible character somewhere. I think I'm just gonna copy-paste it into a notepad and then do it from there or something. Might have been extra space at the end. We did it. This game is spooky. Properly spooky. And I think, honestly... Like, if this game had, like, a safe system... I think in Scrutinized, it's a real shame that in order to get, 
like the normal ending you need you need to beat the whole game in one sitting because uh I was, even in like super speed run i guess a super speed run of screw nice is pretty fast but like it is such a difficult game like you so in welcome to the game you just have one night right you just need to get all the eight keys and then you beat it in scrutinize you need to i think it's five days in a row so you need to basically play five games in a row making like very few mistakes never getting captured and then you win the game which is like insanely difficult uh like a, a casual run takes like uh i don't know three to four five hours something like that crazy and any mistake during during that time you have to restart there's no safe system at all if you right there is on casual mode but on casual mode people got so mad at casual mode and scrutinized because if you beat the game on casual mode which is honestly really the only um the only difficulty i would recommend to anyone if you beat the game on casual mode you get an ending that's like Congratulations, you beat baby mode. Now go play the real game. And it's like super degrading. <laughs> Even though it's really difficult to beat casual mode. It's like just shitting all over the player. <laughs> so people got super upset. <laughs> oh yeah, you got the shit ending. Now go play the real game or something like that. I have not played Alice Madness Returns, no. Maybe you just, just need to get good. That's so... Man. Like watching everyone get that ending and just be super upset. <laughs> It was a sight to behold. Hey, goodbye, Lucas. I'll see you in the next run, like a year from now, during the next Nostalgia Month. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, where are we? E. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Come on. I was adding seven, but I didn't paste it yet. Thank you for being my brain so I don't have the brain. Okay. Here we go. Hopefully, I, I hope I didn't mess up a key somewhere. It feels like I, I kind of skipped a key. It feels like it went way too easy. So that's why I'm like kind of concerned that I messed something up. Okay, so we were adding seven. Does that, is that correct? Yes, I added six is at the end here. So we're gonna add seven. Then we add eight. And then we copy paste it this time. We co copy paste it. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't know what went wrong the last time. All right, there you go. We've done it. I can't believe it. <laughs> we beat the damn game. Okay, so we found the location. This is what it's going on. Incoming message. Hey, it's Adam. You found the location. Excellent work. Head there now by exiting the lobby. Oh, boy. Are you ready? I missed two symbols somewhere. It happens. And before I died right there. We used to do, like, what you used to do in, like, Super World Record speedruns is clip down, and so you didn't have to walk down the stairs. That would save a little bit of time. There were so many crazy glitches at one point. Let's go find Amelia. Oh my god! <laughs> what? I died. Oh no!
That's a crazy glitch. No, I'm just kidding. It's the ending. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Here we go. Oh my god. Did you just. Oh, you slapped me in the face. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How's your night been so far? <laughs> I have to admit, it's satisfying to see you face to face. I'm fascinated that you made it here unscathed. Adam? Adam? I think that'd be pretty obvious. You know the problem. So, by the way, these days, you see the breather right the there? Shelter. And that's the character you play as in the first game. That doesn't exist. This character right here. Hiding behind their computer screens or whatever helps distract them from reality. But the truth is, they're an embarrassment. Abandoning human nature for a fantasy. They've lost touch with the most essential instinct. Survival. Survival. What the frick are you talking about? So, uh, like the theory is that she, so she got into the red room, right? She broke into the red room. Um, and then she might have eventually like joined the noir cult somehow. Because obviously she's sitting here and just kind of chilling. She's not really like restrained or anything. Uh, and there's also, a, so there's multiple endings in the first game. One of them is called, Who Am I? Which is, I, I guess, like the true ending or something, where you walk up to a mirror and then you can see that you play as this character. Uh, but I didn't get that ending when I played it recently. Anyway, what the frick are you talking about? I expected more of you, Clint. <laughs> hey. When faced with life or death, these same people revert back to their primal selves. Pure subconscious volition. That's what inspired me to create all of this, Clint. Profit. Profit made our shot. Think of the seven. I have a large clientele that pay very well to view my games. It's grown into a remarkably lucrative business. It's such a genius. Like this. I really like the story of this game because of it's like self aware, but not. And like in the best way, not in like, a, oh, he he doesn't know Pepe laugh kind of situation. But the game knows that it's like a really a game that most people will watch rather than play themselves. So the story actually fits into that narrative where <laughs> like in the even in the game themselves, people watch you play as like even if you played single player that's still the story so i think that's really cleverly made that it's like it's like it like knows people are watching it on twitch it's a very it's a very smart storyline i like it uh i'm just gonna say this it's not anything special all right bren i get it you keep repeating what i say with a question mark i Everyone else has stopped. I was hoping you'd stop by closely, yourself friend. too, but can you stop, please? You're brought to my attention when you started learning more than you should have. No one has a single inclination of who's orchestrating all of this, except you. I have to give you some credit. You're very good at what you do. Not even the government can put the pieces together. I'm flattered. Why didn't you just kill me? Where's the fun in that? Welcome to the game Battle Royale. Rather than disposing of I mean, I'm really curious what they're going to do with the third one. To give you a fighting chance. To vice a game out of it. Like if they're going to tie it together the rules with the other games? To endure the night, animate your will to live. He says, he's, he doesn't, he says anime. I'm sorry. I, I will never unhear that he says anime. Um, that's a lot of effort to make me fear for my life. That's not the only reason. The entirety of your apartment complex has been embedded with surveillance. That's yeah, a nice view. Very, yeah, Every absolutely. Every movie in the past several hours was broadcasted to our spectators. They are pained to watch you fear for your life. The adrenaline rush of possibly witnessing someone's last moments of life in real time. No script, no acting, just raw, authentic emotion. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> What's this awesome sick show? Yes, Clint. That's a very 2D texture. Amelia but... was pivotal in getting you to participate. We recognized she would be the bait to engage you. 
This whole time he anticipated she was my main priority. But not but quite. You were the main event. Was? I guess I was baited. Um, that's kind of interesting. I wonder if... I wonder why. I, I'm going off on a tangent. But it seems like so many games are trying to become multiplayer games recently. Like, Monster 2, Welcome to the Game, Outlast. It... Why is it such a is such a new trend now? I think Outlast has a chance to potentially stick around. I think Outlast Trials might be one of the first multiplayer games we've seen that's actually going to have like an active community for a really long time. I hope at least it's really fun. When Welcome to the Game 3 is not multiplayer, no, there was Massive Deception, which wasn't really Welcome to the Game, but it was it's made by the same developer and it was a multiplayer game. Uh, I mean, it is a multiplayer game. It's still there. <laughs> it didn't disappear. Uh, was? It's okay, Clem. The best of them do. I guess live service games make what more money, thinking. yeah. What's next? We all are. The viewers are waiting with bated breath to hear your answer. Answer to this fucking line here. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that line? <laughs> don't understand i'm not saying it how the game ends life is a dark undertaking clint we all have to make inconceivable decisions in the face of death there is undoubtedly a humbling virtue to experiencing your own mortality poetic it's what i do clint i'm in entertainment clint that's what i do the, the out of context random it's your question. time to decide you can walk out here a free man and we will forget any of tonight's events took place you will cease to investigate me or my gains i've already taken the liberty of having my men confiscate all documentation out of your apartment including your computer no you go home, my computer and be comfortable in the thought that you've made it out of this unfortunate situation alive what am I supposed to do? My homework. Yeah, sorry, Professor. My homework got stolen by an evil cult. <laughs> cult of Noir. Oh, you don't believe me? Oh, shit. <laughs> that sounds good. I choose that. What are you looking for? Now you're getting it. My browser history. No! <laughs> if you choose freedom, Emilia, the girl you've been so desperately trying to save, will have to die in your place. What will you do? Will you sacrifice yourself to save an innocent girl? Or will you give in to your primal instincts and choose life? Okay, so this is the two... There's two endings in this game. I do wish there were... Like, that's the only thing. I wish there were multiple endings. Like, I wish there was a true ending where you do save her somewhat. Because it's kind of like... The Waiting Room, which is like a random game no one's ever really heard of. Which was like a free DLC to the first game. Had like a... That one had like a full ending with like a phone call and everything. And then Welcome to the Game 1 had like three different endings based on how you play through the game. So it's kind of like, I think that's why people were a little upset with this ending because they were like, why is there only two? And one of them makes absolutely zero fucking sense at all. Like, I don't care. I don't care how much of a hero you are. No one in their right mind would choose two because we have no idea who this lady is. We don't know her. There is no reason to save her over yourself like obviously not <laughs> survival is a strong like if we build like a, a re that. relationship Everyone's with her but it's like get him out of will here. you save this random person you've never met who doesn't know who you are who will never know who you are like <laughs> or will you just live like what the fuck what what happens if you choose to you just get stabbed and that's it <laughs> just gonna scream I'm sorry. Stop, please. The Minecraft door's out. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it sounds like she's getting tickled. Stop, please. No, no more tickles. <laughs>
There we go. Alrighty. Well, that was welcome to the game too. So yeah, we kind of did like, oh my God, it's so loud. Oh baby. We kind of did two full runs because the first run definitely should have also been a win. We died in the war glitch, but it's, it is what it is. And we got to do two runs basically. So yeah, uh, that in my opinion, if you have never played Welcome to the Game, I cannot recommend it enough. If you are new to horror games, I think it's a very interesting game. If you just playing it casually and trying to get as far as you can, you don't have to beat it to get the experience. I highly recommend it is, in my opinion, the scariest game I've personally played in like a um, casual setting because once you play like once you have played 10, 20 horror games, you'll never be able to recreate the fear you felt during your first five. Uh, it's just like you kind of like you can still be scared, but it's not like that. Also, you kind of get older, right? Like you get older, you start knowing more that it's a game. I don't know what it was with this game in particular. It just really fucked with me, uh, especially if you're playing it alone and you're just sitting in the dark and you're playing this game. It's very spooky. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching over on YouTube. If you want to watch more, welcome to the game. I will link the playlist over in the top right. I love this game. Uh, I played many, made many videos on it, so you have more than enough content to go through if you want to see more. Thank you so much. Let me know what you thought. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you join us over at twitch.tv slash Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.